Yo, what's going on, everyone? We're back at it with another price fix video. We are going to go ahead and give y'all a four man 10x play. Man, yesterday in the VIP, we had a tough day. We sent out 19 plays in the VIP and was only able to cash out one of those uh, 19 plays. It was an eight and a half X. So it brought, it gave us about 85, uh, sorry, not 85, about 45% back of our profit of our uh, earnings or whatever we invested. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was it was tough, right? Because we what we're doing right now, we're doing five dollar plays on each play, and we're doing high volume, right? Um, the goal is to win a couple of them, and we were extremely extremely close to winning about five of them, and it could it just did not swing our way. We were made one player away on multiple plays, and it was just unfortunate. Thankfully, we ended up locking, uh, cashing in one of them, right? And it was for eight and a half x. Uh, it was like with Joe Corey Brooks, Show, Milro, and Ryan Williams. Um, but man, it, it, it sucks. But at the end of the day, I mean, uh, five, we sent out 19 plays, five times 19. It's only $95, right? Uh, so right under $100 that we invested and we ended up getting back 4250 So that means we only lost 5250 yesterday. Uh, but still. It's a, it's a good amount of units that we want to go ahead and win back today. And we're going to go ahead and win those units back with this free play, man. It's an 8x same game play with the Jacksonville Jaguars and the New England Patriots. So if y'all want to go ahead and take advantage of the fact that I had a bad weekend, I'm having my, so I haven't, I haven't uh, opened it up yet, but I'm going to replace this college football Saturday class pass with an NFL day pass for just 10 bucks, right? Go ahead, get on that NFL day pass for ten dollars. Um, unfortunately, because I had about a bad weekend, I'm gonna hook y'all up, right? But an NFL day pass for just ten bucks, it's gonna be on here. You just gotta go uh, purchase or subscribe, and you'll be on there, right? So we go on over to Price Picks. We're gonna go ahead and see that we're gonna take right here. So we're gonna go ahead and take Drake May with Demario Douglas. So Drake May on his last outing, he ended up getting what? He, uh, I think Drake May got 200, so he got 243 passing yards against Houston, which is a much, much better defense than the Jacksonville Jaguars that give up one of the most receiving yards and passing yards to quarterbacks and wide receivers. Um, so look for Drake May to get over this 202.5 passing yards. The cool thing about Drake May at the moment is that it typically takes th uh, game, uh, shit, catch my stuff. It typically takes teams about three games to really figure out quarterback there's not a lot of nfl film on drake may at the moment right so i really think that drake may is going to be able to go ahead and take advantage of the fact that there's very few uh, film out there for there's very few nfl film out there well i guess one game right for drake may um but yeah so i don't i don't think the jacksonville Jaguars are going to be able to stop him as much as they think they can or or should but Drake may over 202.5 passing yards seems like a lock to me. We're gonna go ahead and take the Mario Douglas over 49 and a half receiving yards because, like I said, the um, the Jacksonville Jaguars are one of the worst teams against wide receivers. Right? They give up one of the most yards to wide receivers um, out of the entire NFL, and we're gonna go ahead and take advantage of that. And Mario Douglas is the wide receiver one on this team, and he actually ended up going off last game with over 100 receiving yards. So uh, go ahead, lock that in, and we're gonna combine that with. Evan Ingram and Trevor Lawrence over passing and receiving our projections there. So uh, Trevor Lawrence over 232.5 passing yards, as well as Evan Ingram over, uh, where is he, over 49 and a half receiving yards. Uh, when it comes to tight ends, the uh, the New England Patriots give up the ninth most, most receiving yards to tight ends out of the entire NFL, right? So we're really going to take advantage of the weaknesses on these defenses. And look for Evan Ingram to go ahead and get that over 49 and a half receiving yards. I really was thinking about taking Brian Thomas Jr. Uh, because he does have that big play potential where he could catch a 60, 70 yard bomb for a touchdown. Um, but I could really see a game where Evan Ingram is getting about another 10 targets and definitely catching over this 49 and a half receiving yards. And you can see here against Houston, dude ended up, or against Chicago. He ended up getting 102 receiving yards, so doubled his projection. So let's go ahead. Let's look. Let's look for them to cash those. I went ahead and threw down 4250 for to win 340 dollars. That's how confident I am in this play, man. I love this play actually. So I think this is gonna be a good fun one for us to cash before the entire NFL slate begins. So go ahead, Drake May, Douglas, Lawrence, and Engram to go over their passing and receiving our projection.
All right, everyone. It's only 8x, but it don't matter. It's the it's the best we can do. All right, everyone. That's the play for today. Make sure you go ahead and lock it in, and I'll see y'all in the VIP.